In this integration question, we have cos x and root cos 2x in the denominator. Since cos x cannot be simplified further, but obviously we can use the identity of cos 2x to simplify this expression. Cos 2x can be written as cos square x minus sin square x. So let us simplify the denominator first. So cos x root cos 2x is the denominator. When we write cos 2x as cos square x minus sin square x. Now let us take cos square x common out of the denominator. When we take cos square x common out of the denominator, first term becomes 1 and second term does not have cos square x, so it gets divided by cos square x. Now why does it happen? If we multi back multiply cos square x to the bracket, we get the original form. So we can do it like this. Now when cos square x comes out of the square root, it becomes cos x. So cos x into cos x and in the root we have 1 minus sin upon cos is tan. So 1 minus tan square x. So our integral becomes dx and in the denominator we have cos square x root 1 minus tan square x. Now reciprocal of cos x is secant x. So we can write 1 upon cos square x as secant square x and in the denominator we have 1 minus tan square x dx. Now it is quite obvious from the question that it will be done by method of substitution. So put tan x is equal to t, derivative of tan x is secant square x. So this becomes secant square x dx is equal to dt. So our integral becomes dt divided by root 1 minus t square. Now we have one standard integral. In fact, uh, if we uh, know that what is derivative of sin inverse x, derivative of sin inverse x is 1 upon root 1 minus x square. That means we can say that integral of 1 upon root 1 minus x square is equal to sin inverse x. So in this case, we have 1 upon root 1 minus t square. So its, it's integral is sin inverse t. So this becomes sin inverse t plus c. And when we back substitute the value of t, so sin inverse t was uh, tan x, sin inverse tan x plus c is the answer.